Hi, welcome to our Art Appreciation Chill Out Session. The aim is to provide a moment of calm in your day when you can totally immerse yourself in a piece of artwork. Art appreciation engages not only our intellect, but also our senses, emotions and our imagination. This time we're focusing on a piece of sculpture made by Dame Barbara Hepworth in 1935. It's called Three Forms and it's part of the Tate Collection. It's made of Sarah Vesa marble and it's on a marble base. Its size is 21 centimetres by 53.2 centimetres by 34.3 centimetres, so it's quite small. It could fit on a table in front of you. Barbara Hepworth was one of the, the few female artists of the time to gain international recognition. And she's associated with modernism and the avant-garde method of carving the material directly without preparing models beforehand. She created 600 sculptures and was a leading figure over five decades. Hepworth was born in Yorkshire and she studied alongside Henry Moore. Her early sculptures were in stone or wood, but later in bronze and clay. Early on in her career, she travelled abroad, where she met abstract artists such as Picasso, Mondrian and Kandinsky. This was to influence her work. Her second husband was artist Ben Nicholson, and they influenced each other's work, and it sort of resulted in a collaborative style. In 1939, after the outbreak of World War II, they moved to St Ives in West Cornwall with her son and their triplets, where she was to stay for the rest of her life. St Ives has become a popular place for artists. That grew after the extension of the Great Western Railway in 1877. Artists were attracted by the quality of the light and the beauty of the landscape, that rugged landscape. Artists such as James McNeil Whistler and Walter Sickert spent the winter there in 1884 and its first art school opened there in 1888. The St Ives Art Club was established in 1890 and soon had 80 members. After the end of the Second World War, a dozen or so young artists gathered in St Ives and what is now known as the St Ives Artist Colony began. It was the centre of modern and abstract British art during the 1940s to 1960s. Now, of course, there's Tate St Ives, which was built in 1993, overlooking Porthmere Beach. In 1949, Hepworth bought the Trevin Studios, which are now the Barbara Hepworth Museum and Sculpture Garden in St Ives. Although her early sculptures were naturalistic, by the early 1930s it was actually an abstract total style. Her major commissions include Winged Figure for John Lewis Oxford Street and Single Form for the UN headquarters in New York. In the 1940s her interest was in the counterplay between mass and space with hollowed out pieces which made the interior space as important as the surrounding mass. She sometimes painted the concave interiors to accentuate that effect. Three Forms was one of the first works that she completed after the birth of her triplets in October 1934. She had two girls and a boy. She writes how she was absorbed in the relationship in space, in size, and texture and weight, as well as the tension between forms. After a break from work for a month after giving birth to the triplets, Hepworth later observed that my work seemed to have changed direction, although the only fresh influences had been the arrival of the children. As we study the work together, we might consider this in relation to the interplay between the two similar elements the organic pebble-like forms 
and the different form of the sphere. Hepworth said that she sought to discover the absolute essence of the quality of human relationships. Imagine having that sculpture on the table in front of you, being able to touch it, although we would never really touch work in galleries. What would it feel like? Imagine feeling the smoothness, the coldness, the weight of each piece. Notice the positioning. The tension created between the pieces. Observe that sense of balance that she's created. Notice the shadows, the effects of the lighting. What would it be like if the light changed? Maybe bathing it in a coloured light. Imagine walking around it. The different viewpoints that you would see. Maybe imagine the sound of the sea at St Ives and its power to smooth stones through its ebb and flow. When you're ready, and gradually, come back into the here and now. Notice the room around you. Maybe have a stretch. Now it's time to enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.